everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Sports Corner presented by the Niner Times where we cover anything and everything related to Charlotte Athletics. It was a busy week for the athletic program this week, but first things first, let's look at our away scoreboard as we look at the teams that were away this week, starting first with volleyball. The volleyball team went up to Chicago for the Windy City Classic where they won two out of three games. They lost their first game against North Dakota State by a score of 2-3, but then beat Niagara 3-0, and then beat Chicago State by a score of 3-1. The team is now 4-2 and two, and will go up the road to face Elon tonight and then go to Boone for the Mountaineer Classic to add on to their wins already this season. Moving on to the women's soccer team, the women's soccer team had two away games this past week, with the first coming this past Saturday at Campbell. The team lost their first game of the 2021 season against the Camels, 0-2. to two. The team then went to Columbia to face South Carolina this past Monday where they lost 1-4. The team is now 3-2 and two on the 2021 season and will host Call to Charleston this Thursday to get back or to look to get back to their winning ways. Now moving on to the men's soccer team who hosted Seattle last week looking for their second win of the season and their second at home. The 49ers would get off to a slow start as Seattle got a goal in the 14th minute for a 1-0 lead early in the game. It was a defensive stanzo for most of the game until Seattle in the 74th minute got another goal for a 2-0 lead. The 49ers finally got a goal in the 76th minute from Cameron Lacey, and just a few minutes later, Ian Pincher in the 80th minute got another goal for the 49ers for now a 2-2 lead tied going into the final minutes of the game. The 49ers were looking for one more goal as it was 2-2 going into the final minutes. Someone who's been very clutch for them this season, Joe Berto, got that goal in the 84th minute. Giving the 49ers a 3-2 lead in the final minutes, one they would hold on to for the win. Dramatic game, dramatic fashion, and a dramatic stands as the fans went crazy. As the 49ers picked up their second win of the season, the look up to pick their third this Friday at home as they host VCU. And for the grand finale, the Charlotte 49er football team hosted a Power 5 team for the first time in school history this past Friday in front of a rock in Jerry Richardson Stadium. With a crowd of over 14,000 people, it was the first full capacity game for Charlotte since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The 49ers got off to a rocking start as Chris Reynolds hit a short pass to Grant DeBose, who took it to the house for a 56-yard touchdown pass for a 7-0 49er lead. And just a few minutes later, Jonathan Cruz hit a field goal for a 10-0 lead for the 49ers. After Duke scored a touchdown just a few minutes later for only a 10-7 lead for the 49ers. But coming out of the half, Chris Reynolds and the 49ers put on a great drive to get down the field where Reynolds would punch in a touchdown from the one-yard line. This putting the 49ers up 17-14. Then again, the Blue Devils had a great running back in Mateo Durant who was on all night long. And in the second half, the Blue Devils got the lead from the 49ers as Durant had a 59-yard touchdown run for a 21-17 Blue Devil lead. But the 49ers weren't done yet. Reynolds hit the bows again for a nine yard touchdown pass and put the 49ers back on top. This time 24-21 being the lead. But Mateo Durant kept on finding ways to get in the end zone with another long run at 53 yards for a 28-24 lead for the Duke Blue Devils. With the pressure on now for the 49ers at 33 seconds left in the game, Chris Reynolds, who brought the team down the field with great play, find Chadwick Bird for an 11 yard touchdown pass, putting the 49ers up 31-28. They would hold on to this lead as Duke could not get anything going on the other end, and the 49ers got their first power five win in school history. Completing a great night for the fans and for the players inside Jerry Richardson Stadium, one of the most memorable nights in school history. One of the awesome parts about being the head coach at Charlotte is you feel really good about talking about you can have a once in a lifetime type of student athlete experience. Nobody in the country gives you a better student athlete experience than we do. We're under construction. We're not where we want to be, but I take that stuff personally. Can't tell you how happy my heart is just to see those guys smile again because it's been 20 months since I've been able to see that. As a quarterback, you're trying to zone in and just focus on what you need to do. When you see those guys, it just gets your energy going. Um, to see the smiles on their faces as they're rushing the field, they were itching to be back out there. And it's a special feeling when you have a fan base behind you like that. We can't do it without them. It brings energy to us, but that was the coolest part. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Sports Corner presented by the Niner Times. We'll see you again next week as we give you more highlights for your Charlotte 49er athletic teams. See you then.